Hello, I'm here with Jason Wellborn at the uh, Boxing Press Conference in Birmingham for that big matchroom date in October. Jason, goodness me, quite a week so far, isn't it? One minute Sam Eggington, you're his next challenger. Next thing you know, you're in there with Matthew Macklin. You want to talk us through that sequence of events a little bit? It's a bit crazy, isn't it? Yeah, it's, uh, like you say, it's boxing for you, like, and uh, obviously I'm, whoever that put in front of me, if I'm training for that date, I'm, I'm going to be ready, but Matthew Macklin, I was like... You know I mean, I heard of him for ages, like, but uh, he's had a couple of comeback fights now, and those talks he's going down to light middle, so obviously I was matched up with Eggington, so it was just like a bad little thing last night when I heard last night, but I think it's a perfect, if, if anything, it's worked out better for me because he's a bigger name, he's been there and done it, and he's going to be looking at me like, oh, I'm just some, you know what I mean, so it's going to inspire me even more, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm, um, I'm at my weight, that light middle. I know I can make that. I've done it a number of times. I'm comfortable. I bet Ryan Aston, I, I come on strong. You know what I mean? And to be honest with you, that weight is me because my main thing is my strength. So I was just hesitating. Oh, I can't make well to put. I don't, when I lost to Gavin, I was undefeated at World to Weight until Frankie Gavin. And it, I just had a big build up to the fight and I, I, I was bad. And I, was, and I thought, after that fight, I'm never going to make well to again. So, yeah, yeah. In a way, I'm glad this fight's happened. And, it's a better, it's a better belt, and obviously if I beat Matthew Macklin, it's going to boost me straight up. So I've got something to gain from this fight, yeah. not like my last couple. Disappointed it wasn't ultimately uh, the British title on the line. It'd, it'd have been nice because I've had like two chances at it, and I'd like to win that British. But who knows? After this fight, I'm going to want to one step at a time, get this fight, and like who knows? That might open, open up for the something after this one, like. But, I'm just going to give it the flow at the end of the day and don't put no pressure and just try in and enjoy it. Is it the name you could have on your record that's probably big and worth more than a British title, I suppose? Or? Probably is, like, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, he's, he's a game fighter. He's just what I've watched of him before. I've never really followed him. Like, I, mean, I used to train with Darren McDermott years ago. There was, fights, there was talks about Ackley fighting this and he was avoiding Darren McDermott. And what. But um, it's all talk, but the thing is, what I've seen of him when I was watching bits last night, he's going to be there, like he's going to be there, and he's going to be wanting to while away, and he can, you know what I mean? I'm strong, that I know what I can, and if I can adapt to him, you know what I mean? Who knows? He is. He has been in there with the world's best, in all fairness. He's well, been in there with. More, you know what I mean? He's been. He's, he's got. The, he knows. He knows the crack lot with everything. So I take my hat off to him. He's a good fighter. So obviously, I've got to prove myself. Whoever that in front of but then again, the critics among us also probably say, "Hello, Frank." He looks photobombing, doesn't he? So, <laughs> because the critics probably say that Matthew is maybe not the fighter he was. If that's the case, then maybe you know day, you could be the man to finish him. I suppose, Jason, isn't it? That's one thing. So, I'm young, I'm fresh. I've had, uh, I've had good fights, but you know what I mean. I'm, I'm fresh. I'm 29. I'm just better up and coming kid who's, who's supposed to be the next. You know what I mean? I don't need comfortable. Eh? But fair enough, my boxing ability, I can always work on my boxing, I'm learning all the while in my, in my new camp. But um, with Matt in, he ain't made that little bit of weight before. I mean, Jamie he, Moore the last time, remember what happened there? And he, he got knocked out, like, so to be honest with you, putting that in my head and like middle on now. So the only thing what I can do is do my talking in the ring now, and like, when he gets in, just hopefully, that's the crack, like, if he's struggling to make weight and this and that, he's had wars. I mean, boxing's a long game, he's got miles on his clock, he's been there and done it, so I've just got to put that stop to it now. Like. It's truly important you believe you can win as well, Jason, what's the point otherwise? Yeah, so. no, that's boxing, you mean, if I could, don't matter if that And you do have power that. at the end of the day, don't you? That's what I mean, a fight's a fight, you know what I mean, at the end of the day, and I'm in it, I'm in it to go, like, try and do what I get, get as much as I can while I'm in the, while I'm in the game. Without, so, well, without wishing to sensationalise anything, because that wouldn't be like me. You, you know, you, you ultimately want to be the man that knocks out and finishes Matthew Macklin. That's probably what's going through your head, isn't yeah, it? So. That's it, I, like, so I got like, obviously when it comes to boxing and the fighting, he's coming in there to try and just blast yeah. it. To, you know what I mean? I'm going to put every, I'm going to put, every, I'm going to tick every box that I think that's going to happen. Could be explosive, couldn't it, Jason? Yeah, I'm saying it's a good fight. It's Birmingham, it's local. You know what I mean, and the best man will win. Thank you very much, Jason. We're looking forward to the fight.